Jesus will be preparing to come back. There are so many problems you know, that are going to come. Because don't go now. Let's pray together. Because I want us to close. I've been praying for so many places. When I pray, I don't pray for myself. I pray for nations. I pray for countries. I pray for leaders. I pray for this. I pray for that. So, but before Jesus can come, there are so many things that we need to experience. So many things. So there are countries that have been praying for them. You know, one of the countries that I've been praying for, it's America. So America, I've been praying for them, praying for them. And remember, there's attacks that will come to America, but the worst attack that America can receive before other attacks can come. It's when they receive attack from within. From within themselves. Can I say that again? Before the attacks others can come, the worst that they can receive is from within. You know, I've been praying, telling God, oh God, help this country. But God was telling me about the division. The division of the country. Remember, the country has got two parties. Eh? Only two. Huh? God was telling me that if we don't pray, these two parties can divide the country. This one pulling that side. This one pulling that side. And if they pull out like this, it means now uh, it will be easy now to, to, for them to be attacked. I'm sure you're hearing me. You want to pray for them before we close? You want to do that? Let me say that again for the last time. We are praying for them not because if God says something, not because it won't happen. But that's what we call, even if there's a sign, but there has to be mercy. You hear that? There has to be... Let me tell you something. In 2019, that prophecy is there even on, 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 on YouTube. When I was in America, I gave a prophecy there. I said, why I'm seeing America and I'm seeing Saudi Arabia. That was 2019. I was in New York. I said, let's pray for dollar. Because I see America, I see dollar going down. I even said, I'm seeing Saudi Arabia being part of this. In April 2019, Apostle J.B. Makananisa and Prophet Andre Simono traveled to New York during the Cheris USA Tour 2019. On the 14th of April, 2019, Prophet Andre Simono gave a global prophecy concerning the U.S. dollar, oil, and Saudi Arabia. Here are his exact words. I was so that we need to pray because of your... I've been seeing this thing going right now, the issue of your money, the currency. That devil is going to fight it, it will go down. And now, even issue of this Saudi Arabia that will be involved in this issue of the oil and, and, and the dollar. So I think 
this is something that Saudi Arabia want to do. I'm just saying that. And which I've been saying it even before. So, but slowly, surely, I'll, I'll, I believe I'll be telling you all the details. But we need to pray for your country so that God must save it. You see now everyone is saying, no more dollar, no more dollar, no more dollar. You know, even, even the country like Saudi Arabia, they know that if a country like Saudi Arabia says no to dollar anymore, this, that's a downfall. But we spoke about this 2090. Remember now, there was that this, this past year, the president of Saudi America was threatening Saudi Arabia. Can you see that? You people, you need to take us very serious. 2019. So now, let's pray for them. I mean, I'm saying it again. Let's pray for them so that the country must not divide. Yeah, because this, this can cause a civil war. Open your mouth, you pray. Pray. Just one minute of prayer. Just one minute and we're going to close. Pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray. Jesus mighty name. Did you pray? Huh? I'm sure God will hear us. I'm sure God will hear us. You mention things and no one listen. You know? Whether people listen or not, we must speak what God is telling us. Because it's not our part that you listen. The reason why I say you, you must listen is because you must also have your own time to pray. You hear that? You must also have your own time to pray. I'm sure God will help us. And another thing I want us to pray is for your, you know, you have time to pray for your own African countries. You hear me? Do you do that? Huh? Are you sure? I want you to spend time. You know, the more you pray for other people, is the more God will show you visions. You, you don't need a vision about yourself all the time. What are you going to do with your own vision? Huh? What are you going to do? But if God is the showing you this, that, about other nations, you, it, that will make you to spend more time to, you know, in prayer. It will help you. The last, I want us to pray for a country called Nigeria. That's the last one. I want us to pray for Nigeria. Uh, Nigeria. I want us to pray for them. 
because of you know God when I was praying for them he was telling me that a rightful leader if he can be raised from there that country will be very strong but if a wrong one can emerge again more problems are you hearing me we need to pray for them but if you know I've been praying for one specific person a man called Peter one specific person that's what the person I've been praying for you know because I've been praying for them God say if a wrong one can emerge they will still have more problems but if a rightful leader can emerge this time that country will be very powerful if you check now you see what is happening to them wherever they go no one want them can you see that you know you know god is telling them now it's your time to pray for yourself pray for your country because wherever they go People say, hey, well, now, hey, you go home, hey, you go. And when I was praying, God was saying, let's pray that a rightful leader must be raised. Me specifically, I prayed for one person. I prayed for a man called Peter. That has been my prayer. And if a rightful leader can emerge that nation no one will catch it no one no one will catch it you realize that it's becoming more strong and strong and strong and strong but if a wrong one can come more problems are gay What they must do now, they must not tamper with anything when it comes to the issues of voting, these elections. You know, people tamper with uh, votes. You know, they must not tamper with anything. Let them allow people to vote the way they want to vote. So now, if a rightful leader will stand up like this, Nigeria will be a place to visit. I want us to go and pray for them. I'm sure they're going to be going to uh, elections soon. Huh? Huh? So now let's open our mouth. We pray for them. Let's pray for a rightful leader so that the country can be strong as God is saying. Let's pray. Open your mouth. You pray. Pray, pray. I can't hear you. Pray, pray, pray. Pray for that country. If a rightful leader can emerge, that country will be amazing. Will be strong like nobody's business. Pray, pray, pray. Pray! I can't hear you. I believe God has heard us. Do you hear me? I believe God has heard us. Uh, we must love our people. Are you hearing me? Uh, Jesus is the father of all of us. Let's love our people. Uh, I love all my African countries because I want God to remove this curse that has been laid upon our countries. And if that curse can be removed, prosperity will come. You see, prosperity will definitely come.